a pretty broad scope of things. And with that being said, dude, my next one here, it's a doozy. It's a short one. So this is a story that went viral. I got to get it. I got to pull it up on my phone. This was actually about four or five years ago now where this thing went big. So I have daughters, right? And my oldest was really into Frozen, that movie. Yeah. It was a huge Disney box office success. I've probably watched the movie about a hundred times. Uh, you know how it is when a kid, they just watch the movie and over. I wasn't watching it on my own just for the record. Yeah. Maybe I was, I don't know. Judge me if you want to. But anyway, so this centers around that. So this actually went pretty viral. It's about a haunted Elsa doll. Weird. Yeah. I'm going to cue up the music. We're going to go with it here. Oh, hang on. The audio started cutting out again. What about now? Now it's good again. That's weird. So this is actually clicked to Houston is the source here. It's a, it's a news company, news organization in Houston, Texas. The I called it Haunted Elsa Doll, but this is the actual name of the article. They can't let it go. Haunted Elsa Doll returns to Houston family after being thrown out multiple times. Here we go. This is uh, from January in 2020. On Christmas of 2013, a Houston area girl was gifted an Elsa doll, and all was well, until it wasn't. The doll recited phrases from the movie Frozen and sang Let It Go when a button on its necklace was pressed. For two years, it did that in English, Mother Emily said. I think it's Emily Madonna, if I'm reading that correctly. In 2015, it started doing... In 2015, it started where it would change between Spanish and English. There wasn't a button that changed this. This just happened randomly. The family has owned the doll for more than six years and never changed its batteries. The mother says the doll would randomly begin to speak and sing even when the switch was turned off. In December 2019, the family decided to get rid of the doll. However, Elsa wasn't going to let this family go. Despite throwing it into the trash, the family found the doll inside of a bench in their living room weeks later. The kids insisted they didn't put it there, and I believe them because they wouldn't have dug through the garbage outside. This was in the outside garbage. And it goes back inside into the bench. They, you know how you have like a storage bench in your house? I'm looking at the picture here, but which I guess it's not really relevant. But yeah, it, goes, it ends up back in this bench in this house. They find it weeks later. Blows my mind. Kids said they didn't do it. Elsa completely stopped operating in English and began to only speak and sing in Spanish. And I'll we'll actually have a video to share afterwards on this. Once again, the family attempted to throw out the Elsa doll. Her husband double bagged the doll and placed it at the bottom of the tra- garbage can outside the day of trash day. The family traveled and forgot about it. But when they returned, their daughter found her old friend outside of their house. Okay, this is a quote here. Okay, guys, seriously, we need help. To recap, for those of you who have not been following our Elsa doll saga, Matt threw it away weeks ago, and then we found it inside a wooden bench. This is her on Facebook. Okay, we were weirded out and 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 wrapped this up and put it in the bag in the bottom of the gar- a garbage can outside on trash day, and put that bag inside of another bag and filled it with garbage on top of it, put it in the bottom of the can. So they went out of their way here. Great, right? We went out of town, forgot about it. Mom, I saw the Elsa doll get in the backyard. This is the first thing her daughter says when she gets home. This doll, and I don't know if you can see the picture here. This is fucking... Okay, let me try to show you my phone. This is between the, like, outside of the house, like the air conditioner's over here. So it's in between, like, the house here outside. So they get home from vacation, and they find this doll out there. They left right before the trash was picked up, and this doll was wrapped away, all that. It's outside of their house when they get home back into town. This is This is crazy. When asked if she believed a prank was being pulled, she said the doll has some marker on her from my daughter coloring over on her over the years. So I know I know that the doll that reappeared was the original and not the replacement. Most logical thinkers believe it's a prank, but I don't understand how or when it was done, especially because the garbage truck had taken it away. The family has made a final attempt to get rid of their doll, uh, her daughter's old doll, but this time Elsa isn't going into the unknown. The doll was mailed without a return address to a family friend in Minnesota. If the doll comes back, I might have to open my mind to some more supernatural solutions, the mom said. Luckily, the doll the doll was received by their cousin in Minnesota. And a one last final attempt to a final attempt of this on Facebook. And now for the rest of the story, she made it to Minnesota and is taped to the rush guard of my brother's Jeep. 
If anything weird happens, I'm welding her to a still pipe and sinking her into a lake in the woods. She also added that... Okay, yeah, if you want to see this online, it's on Facebook. I'll put it in the show notes, but there's a lot added to it here as far as people's comments and stuff. But as of right, as of the last time this is updated, it's on the hood of family relatives' Jeep. I do have a video of them messing with this doll when they found it outside when they got home. So let me pause this music and pull that up. Your thoughts on what I just, get yeah, what I just, I just threw a lot at you there. That was so weird. Oh, man. The fact that it was in the backyard there after the double bagging and everything, that was really freaking weird. Especially with everyone leaving. I think it's like was they all left. Basically, yeah, they basically saw the trash truck take it away and left, yeah. Then they come back home from wherever and it was there. That is so messed up. Oh, wow. Can you imagine being that little girl and you go outside and it's outside your house like that? Yeah, that's really spooky. Now, if it wasn't, if it was somehow, you know, not a uh, supernatural thing and it was someone trying to play some sort of messed up prank, that's really messed up to, like, you know, kind of like scare a little kid. and You have to dig through a lot of trash to do this. Yeah, that's something like a sort through the trash, dig through it. This is something that the, the hammer guy would try. The guy was trying to beat his way to the basement door. Yeah. Now I read this story and I was like, this is the craziest thing ever. Like, Yeah. But if this is like some sort of like Chucky situation, then they got some different problems on their hands. Then you got a lot of professionals that have chimed in on this article and they said, well, it's probably not the doll that's haunted per se. It's something with your house. You should have got your house blessed or however you want to phrase it. You have anything happen again? Like there's people chiming in on the story. Like something happens again, you need to get it. Seek professional help. But how did you feel about... So uh, I guess there's a glitch where it could go to Spanish, right? Yeah. So it probably uses a just a standard like microprocessor and it probably has all the same languages that they produce the doll in just so that they don't have to make more than one. They probably just have them all on there. And they probably set something on the inside of the doll to like go to a different language. And my guess is there's probably a button or something in there. But it's probably inside, so you're not supposed to be able to, to get to it. Uh, there is the outside chance that maybe something broke free in there and the button got smacked. But, it, you know, being tossed around or something. Uh, yeah. But the fact that it kept coming back, that's really weird. Does this, this is explain for the fact they would do it when it was turned off? No, that's, that's very strange. And also the fact that they said they didn't have to change the batteries ever. Uh, and yeah, that's a very weird a uh, wrinkle to the story. I I was just offering that's the that would make sense that it probably would have all languages on there. Uh there's definitely some other weird stuff with this story though. It's I, I'm I'm about at ninety nine percent sure I had this doll, my daughter did. And I tried to locate it but I can't before this. But I was curious too. I was like, I gotta get one of these dolls and see. I'm pretty yeah. sure it's that exact same doll. That's why like this story relate you know, I could relate to this story. I was like I would like to see the insides of one of those dolls, see what the like the circuitry looks like that has and see if it does have all the languages on there. Or if there's you know, some way of telling. But would you like to see the inside of the doll to see if how it broke out of the trash multiple times though? That part you probably wouldn't be able to explain that way. I can't imagine. So like the first time, right? It's it's hidden in their house. They find it weeks later. Yeah, that's very strange. I don't know. I thought this story was super creepy. I was like, I got, I can't wait to share this all with Luke. Yeah, that's a good one. That's really creepy. So what, what did this, what did the article say here? It was like titled. It caught me like instantly. It was said, "They can't let it go." <laughs> Such a great title. Yeah. So yeah, all credit to click to Houston dot com for their great article on that one. I enjoyed the hell out of that one. Yeah, that's a really good one. You ever have you ever experienced a scary toy or anything? Um. Uh, 
No, uh, I do know. I've I've had I'm known people talk about like Furbies being scary or something like that. I never owned one, so but I just think everyone just got scared because they're freaking creepy looking. But yeah, I had a I had a cousin that said she would have it like a has like a SpongeBob toy car, and even though know, the the house is apparently haunted, uh, but I, mean, I could share a different story about that another day. But my experience, but it would uh, just start driving around on its own with no batteries in it. You often see like like those things manifest themselves through toys, I guess. Yeah. You know? Moderator said they had a marionette puppet once. Yeah. Uh, was it scary? Um, it was. It was if you're a, if you're afraid of clown, there you go. It was like a clown puppet, and you know it was. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, this is a while back, so uh, Tales from the Crypt was on. Oh time. yeah. And there was like a marionette clown puppet on there. Yeah. And, you know, seeing that very young, and then that clown puppet being tossed underneath a blanket at you, you, well, <laughs> then, uh, well, then, immediately, he tried to destroy it. <laughs> Actually, that, we need to yeah. find this Elsa doll, <laughs> put it in his room. He wakes up, like, not to his scene, right? Like, a year. Yeah. Wakes up to an Elsa doll. Oh, man. Go. He'd freak out. I know he's listening. That's why we're having this conversation. Yeah, yeah no, the to- some toys are really creepy. Like I always think of those dolls. It wasn't like a clown one, but like Goosebumps also had that one. Yeah, so like I know what you're talking. Those things are creepy, man. Yeah, yeah. Toys can be creepy though. It's not the first time. I and mean, there's so many doll things out there. This is not like an uncommon thing, but for it to just keep coming back through that, that's pretty uncommon. Can't yeah, get rid is. of the dang thing, but that's pretty weird. Yeah, it's a cool story though. Yeah, I liked it. Jeff Townsend Media. CG, good night. And the question is, do I stay here? Will you be back? Are you gonna come back? Will you be back? Are you coming back?